Hi, I'm Angie and yeah, a couple of months ago I've been to Utah and we were hiking through the national parks, like through uh, Zion National Park and through Bryce National Park and the nature just blew me away. When we were hiking through Bryce National Park, uh, we saw all of these um, rock formations that are called hoodoos and they remembered me of like piped cream, uh, a little bit at least. With every turn we made, I really saw like candy and cream and I think that's because of Mario Kart, but that's not the point. Um, I, the, the nature, as already mentioned, just blew me away and I just really, really wanted to bring the design into my chocolate. So this is an attempt to bring uh, the beauty and the nature of Utah into my chocolate, but in a very abstract way. And so the emphasis is on abstract. I'm not a person that can do like dainty, finicky things. This will drive me mad. I'm very impatient. I don't know how this will turn out. Um, but I just had the idea of Bryce Canyon and my chocolate in my head for the last couple of months. So yeah, I really um, want to try it out and I don't hope that uh, yeah, people living in Utah will hate me after this because I will completely screw it up. Fingers crossed. It'll be good. It'll be good. Let's do this. Here is the mold I want to use today. It's from Chocolate World and I also have a link in the description down below just in case you're interested. And now let's take a look at my color palette. I have a couple of colors from uh, Chef Rubbers. Um, I have the green crystal because I really want to um, yeah, mimic some trees, so I think I will start out with um, this green. And then I have some like peach luster and gold um, for basically the colors and the stone. And here those three colors, I mean this is only a white. And like another yellowy gold that I also want to use for the stone and um, those I made from scratch. Yes, and so that's kind of like my color palette that I want to use today. And for the equipment, I for the trees especially, I want to use um, my toothbrush. And I'm probably also going to use my airbrush today. I don't know yet exactly how, but I think I'm going to use it. Um, and I will also have some uh, yeah, regular brushes ready. Um, so that's the equipment I want to use, I think. Um, now I'm going to melt all of my, oops, now I'm going to melt all of my colors um, and then we do this. We start with the most easy thing I think and this will be the trees or like the greeneries just around, um, around the stone basically. So I just melted this, give it a good shake. And now I'm using the toothbrush because I really want smaller dots basically. Now we have some green sprinkles on our mold. Now comes the hard part where I don't really know how and where to start to be honest. But if we take a second look at the canyon, uh, we can see that it's really layers on layers and that's why I think my brushes will come handy. I will start with the darkest color. My plan is to use um, the darkest color first um, to make some lines, then really quickly use another color, make more lines and then use my airbrush just to kind of like mix the colors just a little bit so it looks more natural. Okay, that's what I want to do. Okay, I'll just... make two bars and now I'll just spray it around yeah that's kind of how I imagined it Okay, you have to work really fast here if you want to mix the colors because they dry really quick. 
but also my kitchen is pretty cold today. What has my kitchen? Like 70 degrees Celsius? It's not super warm in here. And it could have been worse. Now I have three more colors that I want to use and I think now is a good time um, to use the brighter colors. I will use white in the end. We do the more orangey gold now and afterward the more and afterwards this one here. Let's get a little bit closer for our last three colors. Moving on with an orange. I'm not sure if I'll like it, but that's something we will see in the end. If the colors are right or if it just looks wrong. Moving on to the a little bit more reddish gold. Let's mix those first. I think the orange wasn't too bad actually. I will add one last layer of white um, and I will not fill every single um, yeah, cavity or space here on my mold because I think the brown of the chocolate um, is also a really really good uh, background or canvas um, yeah, for, for this design here. Um, so I will add my last layer of white. Let's see how this looks. Do only three and mix it. I would say we we'll leave it like that. Maybe add a little bit more white on those two because there's almost no color. Just add a little bit more white. Now I'm done with the design and I think it doesn't look too bad. Now I will temper my chocolate and don't worry those little pieces in there are macadamia pieces. Um, yeah, now I will temper my chocolate, fill my molds and then I'll show you how it looks in the end. Here's my chocolate. Let's release it together. Okay. Oh no. Something broke up. I have an edge here. Which bar is it? Here, this one. Oh well. Um, let's take a look. Doesn't look too bad. I love the colors and I feel like if I tell you that this should represent Bryce Canyon or um, like the Utah National Parks, I mean you can see similarities. I think they look pretty cool. I'm actually very surprised how good it turned out. Let me clean up those edges and then I'll uh, take more pictures for you. Nice! Okay, I cleaned up the edges. Let's take a closer look. I think my favorite is this one because you can also see some uh, part chocolate which I think um, fits really really well. Ooh, I love this one. Nice! I'm happy with it! Thank you so much for watching and I hope you get inspired by the little things in your life. It could be like a little bee or just a nature or just the people around you. Um, that's where I get my inspiration from, like from like honestly like the world around me. And yeah, I just hope that you um, make some pretty chocolate and some fun chocolate with it. Um, yeah, that's it for me today. If you have questions, you can leave them down in the description below or you can also of course also send me a DM on Instagram at chocolate beer. 
And if you are looking for um, any kind of equipment, I also have them down uh, listed in the description below. And that's it for me today. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.